Hey guys, so really quick, um, God gave me prophetic instruction that I want to share with you guys. I think if you implement this into your family, into your life, into your ministry, um, I feel like it will bless your church. It will bless you because it would keep Satan out of everything. And the problem today is, is that Satan is infiltrating the church and the ministries and people, family lives and things of that nature. So guys, I got three ways to keep Satan at arm's reach, all right? These are weapons of mass destruction towards Satan. So listen up. So weapon number one, if you're a ministry, you need a powerful prayer team, okay? And I'm not just talking about just know anybody that say prayers. These people need to be filled with the power of the Holy Ghost, and they need to be living a very righteous life, okay? That means away from sin. All right, this will provide healing, breakthroughs, and unity within the whole church. Number two, you need a prophetic spiritual prayer team. All right, these are the seers, the feelers, the hearers. All right, and they could sense the dangers within the spirit realm, making it very powerful for solutions, directions, deliverance, and strengthening and edifying the church. This brings the mind frame and heart of God to the table. And the third weapon today, last but not least at all, and a lot of churches are lacking this, a lot of ministries are lacking this, you need a strong deliverance team, okay? Once the prophetic people spot the strongholds, now it's time to send in the U.S. Marines, as you will, side note, sidebar, aka the deliverance ministers to eliminate the enemy from church leaders and um, staff and the flock all together. So when you bring all of this together, it's very effective, you know what I'm saying? Instead of like not having nothing, because I compare demons um, to ants. Ants are always looking for a loophole to come inside the temple, all right? You know, that's why it's important to eliminate ants that's around the temple, around the house. So that temple can represent your church. That temple can represent your ministry. It could represent your temple, your body. So it's very important to keep the ants eliminated, you know, because we have authority over ants. We could tread on them. We could step on them. But we must know that the ants are there, all right? And one loophole can bring in hundreds of ants. So I hope that this blesses you, blesses your ministry, and blesses your life.